If you've been watching our videos, you've probably noticed a lot of big sweeping shots and huge lifts. To get that cinematic look, it takes some big rigs. This is our family of jibs. The big jib, the porta jib, and the mini jib. All the jib does is keep the camera at the same angle as the rig raises and lowers. It seems pretty simple, but I've found jibs to be the most powerful and versatile additions to our arsenal of filming gear. The first installment was the big jib, made from a 16 foot aluminum hang glider pole. The angle control comes from a pulley and cable system. I got the idea from the Cobra Crane, which uses a similar pulley system to control the camera. The big jib worked great and delivered beautifully smooth footage, but was simply too difficult to transport. After strapping it to the roof of our car, I would often shoulder it and ride several miles over the course of a day of filming. Cruising down a hill at 30 miles an hour carrying a 16 foot pole is not something I'd recommend. The first answer to the big jib's transport issue was the mini jib. The mini jib is made from a few old tripod legs. It has an adjustable length counterweight to work with different cameras and uses two main spars to control angle. It works fine for small shots in remote locations, but its small size requires a careful touch to keep it steady. When we're getting serious, I break out the big guns. The porta jib is a collapsible 10 foot jib made from telescopic aluminum table legs. I machined all the parts on the jib, working hard to keep it lightweight and rugged. The jib works just like the Cobra Crane by using two pulleys and a loop of cable to control the camera. The pulley attached to the base is fixed and the one on the camera end is free to rotate. The two axis head is lockable in either axis for straight lift or pan shots. The base pulley can also be loosened and adjusted on the fly, allowing you to change the camera angle while filming. Most importantly, the porta jib packs down small enough to take in a backpack, but it's still big enough to get impressive shots.